the border with Gaza is right there behind me. Southern Israel is on fire. In the last two weeks, over 300 fires were ignited by incendiary balloons launched by terrorists in Gaza. If that's not enough, they fired over 10 rockets at Israel targeting civilians. And it feels like the world expects us to sit back and watch our land burn and our homes destroyed. Imagine if you lived here and had your family and children. Imagine that you suddenly hear the siren that gives you only a few seconds to run to a bomb shelter, but you need to call your children from the playground and rush them into a bomb shelter in order to save their lives. Imagine that your precious child sees a balloon in the sky and think that it's a birthday celebration and you need to explain to them that it's a bomb that could kill them. Now you can stop imagining because this is the reality here in southern Israel. The most hypocritical thing is that when terrorists target our civilians, the media is silent. But when the Israeli army strikes terror targets in Gaza as a response to that, the news go crazy over this, portraying the story as if Israel bombs Gaza for fun. You know, Palestinian activists always say that, hey, it's called resistance, we want to end the horrible blockade because Gaza is an open prison and yada yada. I have only one question for them. One question, I promise. Why don't they fire rockets or launch incendiary balloons at Egypt that also shares the border with them and keeps that border closed most of the year. While we transfer tons of humanitarian aid every single day into the Gaza Strip, they keep on lying and saying that we hold them as hostages. The real answer is that they want to destroy Israel. They never wanted to live alongside us, they want to live instead of us. So why does the media and the UN expect us to be quiet when terrorists are trying to destroy us? Every normal country would have done the same thing target those that target their civilians. Look at this burned land. Those that burn this land don't own the land. It's as simple as that. While Israel is making the desert bloom, Palestinian terrorists set the land on fire. While Israel invents revolutionary technology, Palestinians in Gaza invent new ways of terror. The fact that the Arab world is making peace with Israel drives the Palestinian leadership crazy because they just realized that their lives are no longer effective, that even the Arab neighbors don't believe them. True peace comes in exchange for peace, but to make peace, you need a peace partner. Would you make peace with someone that fires rockets at you and burn your land, or would you respond with an iron fist to defend yourself? The world needs to hear the truth. Share this video 